Good afternoon. Today we are coming to you from Basingstoke um, and it's a beautiful sunny day. Really lovely when the sun's not behind a cloud. I'm so sure that we're going to find some really cool things here. So come with me on our adventure. So here we go. Some very pretty stuff indeed. I like this. I tried that on. Sadly it didn't zip up. This lady's reaction when I tell her she's on film. So cute. As you can see, quite a lot of charity shops in this town. Well worth a visit if you're on the hunt. Fabulous shade of blue. It was definitely a dress day. These were all absolutely gorgeous, but not my size. It says, urgently needed donations. Again, reminder that they're always looking for men's clothes too. So if your hubby's got stuff that's out of date, send it in. We've been buying ourselves some DVDs. We bought ourselves a little DVD player to keep ourselves busy in our van as we travel. So this outfit is a little bit different for me, um, a little bit conservative, I would even say. But I just love that vivid blue, with my hair being blue at the moment. And the shirt, although I was always told by my mother never to go for stripes that went round me, I just think it, it flows. The shirt picked up all the colours in my hair, the turquoises and the blues. So I thought it was a really cool thing to stick over the dress dress has lovely deep pockets which of course you know I very much appreciate um, and I've teamed it with a necklace that I found in one of the shops that's literally sort of made out of, sort of silk yarn um, little fibres of silk which you'll see a close up of in a minute but the, I thought it tied the whole outfit together rather nicely um, it has slits in, in the side of the hem uh, to give it a little bit of so you're not too tight round the legs. Uh, it's a nice, nice little outfit. Close up of the fabric. As I said, I don't think that, I don't feel the stripes on this really did too badly. And here's that necklace that I was talking about. Very different, very interesting. And it has a magnetic glass, so the two ends just touch each other and it holds it together. Bit different, bit different. We like something that's a bit different. My hubby doing some modelling for me. He bought this Lambretta jacket, which he was very pleased to have found. It was £4.25 and it fe he felt very happy to have discovered it. Um, and the hat is the one that he bought in Cheddar many weeks ago, but he thought the two went rather well together. My next outfit is all white. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I'm not not very good with white because I do tend to spill things and because I do art all the time I tend to get paint on everything but this was so pretty around the neck with the embroidery and all the little bits of beading and stuff are in the in amongst the embroidery that I thought I would uh, go for it um, it's a white linen jacket by Marks and Spencers and um, the dress um, from the British Heart Foundation and cost four pounds um, and I liked it. I really did like it. But my husband said he liked it even more because he could see through and he could see my bum. That might be a bit off-putting for some people. It is very opaque. I teamed it with a little plain white necklace because I felt any colours might fight with the embroidery on the neck. Um, I, felt that, I felt there was enough. Um, and I put it with my little silver um, jeweled sandals that I bought in Winscombe. Um, all we need is some really nice hot summer days that don't turn into rainstorms halfway through. Are you brave enough to wear white? Look, here's the embroidery and see the details there. Very, very pretty. Really very pretty. Little dance. <laughs> Sometimes I just get carried away. Here's the third outfit. As I said, three dresses. 
three dresses. So this one, I just love the colour. It's this lovely, beautiful blue purple. Um, and I just layered up some tops over it just to give it a sort of bohemian feel. Um, stuck on my um, lovely chunk of amethyst for the necklace. Uh, this dress, so it's a size 20 and it was four pounds. They all came from the Naomi house and Jack's place. Um, I found all three in the same, on the same rail and I, I just thought all three were good. So there we go. Now this necklace came from the neighbourhood charity shop and it is a Victorian jet memorial necklace. It's stylized, Lily of the Valley. Um, and I only paid two pounds for it. Quite astonishing really for a beautiful Victorian piece. This was quite wow. Again, two pounds. This these came from St. Margaret's um St. Margaret's Hospice. Um, and this last one the same. But this one is literally falling to bits. I've got to sit down with my pliers and put it all back together. So I can't even really show it to you properly because the bits are falling off it as I'm holding it up. So um that one's going into my mend it pile because it was such beautiful colours. Thank you for following me. Subscribe if you haven't. I need as many subscribers as I can get. Like, share it with your friends. And, and thank you so much for all, for all the comments you give me. I really appreciate them. It's lovely to talk to the same people again and again because it means I get to feel that I'm getting to know you. So like, subscribe and share.